Brought to you by wikivd.com. Mariska Hargitay. Mariska Magdalena Hargitay is an American actress best known for her role as Detective Sergeant Lieutenant Olivia Benson on the NBC drama series Law. Special Victims Unit for which she has earned multiple awards and nominations including an Emmy and Golden Globe. The daughter of bodybuilder and actor Mickey Hargitay and actress Jane Mansfield Hargitay made her film debut in the 1985 horror comedy film Ghoulies and her major television debut in the 1986 adventure drama series Downtown. She appeared in numerous roles in film and television shows throughout the late 1980s and 1990s before being cast as Olivia Benson, a role that led to her founding the Joyful Heart Foundation, which provides support to women who have been sexually abused. Early life Hargitay was born at Street John's Hospital in Santa Monica, California, the daughter of actress and 1950s-era sex symbol Jane Mansfield. Her father was the Hungarian-born former Mr. Universe Mickey Hargite. Her first and middle names are Hungarian and refer to Mary Magdalene. Hargite was raised Roman Catholic. She has two older brothers Miklos and Zoltan, and three half-siblings Jane Marie Mansfield and Antonio Tony Simba and Tina Hargite. Hagite's parents divorced in May 1963 but a judge later found their Mexican divorce invalid. They reconciled a few months before Hagite's birth in January 1964 but soon separated again. In August 1964 her mother successfully petitioned the court to rule the Mexican divorce legal. A few weeks later Mansfield married the director Matt Simba who had directed her in a 1964 production of the William Inger play Bus Stop. On June 29, 1967, Mansfield was killed in an automobile accident on a stretch of U.S. Route 90 between New Orleans and Bay, St. Louis, Mississippi. Her boyfriend Sam Brody and the driver were also killed. Asleep in the back of the vehicle Hargitay then three and a half years old was left with a zigzag scar on one side of her head. Her brothers Miklos and Zoltan were also in the car, but escaped with minor injuries. After the death of their mother the three siblings were raised by their father and his third wife Ellen Ciano. Hargite dislikes comparisons with her famous mother and at age 18 said my dad was Mr. Universe so it would be fun for me to be Miss Universe. While a student at her Catholic secondary school Marymount High School, Hargitay was active in cheerleading student government athletics and the theater program. She enjoyed acting and enrolled at UCLA after graduation from high school in 1982. That same year Hargitay was crowned Miss Beverly Hills, USA. By the time she was a freshman in college Hargite had an agent and several small roles. To her credit, she attended UCLA School of Theatre, Film and Television. She left before completing her degree when she began her acting career. Hargite attended Groundlings Theatre and School in Los Angeles. Her improv teacher was Kathy Griffin. Griffin stated in an interview, We started class. And in the Groundlings curriculum one of the first exercises you do is the cliched trust game. I made everyone stand in a circle with me in the center and I said being on stage you have to trust your fellow actors especially when you're an improviser. You're going to be there for each other and they're going to be there for you. For example I'm going to fall back knowing that you'll catch me. Then I let myself fall backward and sure enough I was caught. Everyone gets out some nervous laughter and then they all took turns doing it. By the time it got around to Mariska Hargite would already done it with 10 or 11 students. And they had clearly gotten the point. Then it was Mariska's turn. OK Mariska, cross your arms in front of you and gently fall back, I said. 
She fell back and nobody caught her. She fell flat on her ass. I was horrified. This had never happened in one of my classes before. Career in 1982 after Hargitay was crowned Miss Beverly Hills USA. She then competed in the Miss California USA pageant the following year placing fourth runner-up to Julie Hayek who was later crowned Miss USA. In 1984 she appeared in Ronnie Millsap's music video, For She Loves My Car. A year later she had a small role in the horror film Ghoulies. Hargitay said in 1986 that she never thought about doing television until her role for the one-hour adventure drama series Downtown was offered. In 1988, she had a recurring role as Carly Fixx in the soap opera Falcon Crest. She portrayed police officer Angela Garcia in the 1992 series Tequila and Bonetti, and appeared in an episode of the fourth season of Seinfeld. Two years later, Hargitay portrayed Dee Dee Edelstein the sexy next-door neighbor in the 1995 sitcom Can't Hurry Love, which starred Nancy McKeon. In 1997, Hargitay played Detective Nina Echeverria on the drama series Prince Street, and had a recurring role as Cynthia Hooper during the fourth season of Er. Hargitay has appeared on numerous other television programs including Freddy's Nightmares, Ellen, All-American Girl, Baywatch, Cracker, Gabriel's Fire, In the Heat of the Night, The Single Guy, Wise Guy and Thirty Something. Her voice is featured on the 2005 video game True Crime, New York City. Hagite also had a minor role in the 1995 film Leaving Las Vegas, and briefly replaced Gabrielle Fitzpatrick as Dulcia in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. Although her scenes were cut from the film and was let go when Fitzpatrick recovered from her surgery and returned to the film. In January 2007 she and her son August appeared in a Got Milk advertisement. Law. Casting. For the lead characters of NBC police procedural television drama series Law. Victims Unit occurred in the spring of 1999. Dick Wolf, along with officials from NBC and Studios USA, were at the final auditions for the two leads at Rockefeller Center. The last round had been narrowed down to six finalists. For the female lead detective Olivia Benson, Samantha Mathis, Rako Aylesworth, and Hargitay were being considered. For the male role detective Elliot Stabler, the finalists were Tim Matheson, John Slattery, and Christopher Maloney. Maloney and Hargitay had auditioned in the final round together. And after the actors left there was a moment of dead silence after which Wolf blurted out, Oh well, there's no doubt who we should choose Hargita and Maloney. The duo, who Wolf believed had the perfect chemistry from the first time he saw them together, were his first choice. Garth Ansia, then head of NBC Entertainment, agreed, and the rest of the panel assembled voiced their assent. Hargitay trained as a rape crisis advocate to prepare for the role of Benson. During the last months of her pregnancy in 2006 she took maternity leave from SVU and was temporarily replaced by Connie Nielsen. In May 2009 after the show's 10th season Hargitay and Melanie's contracts expired when they were reportedly making $375,000 $385,000 per episode. During negotiations in April for a new contract the duo attempted to receive a percentage of the show's profits as other high-profile law and order actors had done in the past. It was rumored that NBC threatened to replace Hargitay and Maloney if they persisted in their demands. However, two months later it was officially reported that both their contracts had been renewed for two more years, when the 13th season was about to air. Initial reports indicated that Hargitay would appear in only the first 13 episodes.
However, NBC chairman Bob Greenblatt later clarified that she would be in every episode of the season. As of August 2012, Hargitay was earning approximately $400,000 $500,000 per episode. Personal life Hargitay speaks five languages, English, French, Hungarian, Spanish and Italian. On August 28, 2004 in Santa Barbara, California, Hargitay married Peter Herman, an actor whom she met on the set of Law on which he plays the recurring role of defense attorney Trevor Langan. On June 28, 2006, Hargitay gave birth to their son August Miklos Friedrich Hermann by an emergency caesarean section. In April 2011 she and her husband adopted Amaya Josephine and attended her birth. In October 2011 she and her husband adopted a baby boy. Andrew Nicholas Hargite Herman who had been born in mid-2011. Upon winning her Emmy on August 27, 2006 Hargite made a point of thanking her father. On September 14, 2006 her father died from multiple myeloma in Los Angeles, California at age 80. Health Problems in late December 2008 Hargitay suffered a partially collapsed lung after taking a fall. During a stunt on the set of SVU, she underwent surgery in January and returned to work shortly afterward. On March 3, 2009, she was hospitalized after suffering chest pains related to the injury. She missed one episode on SVU 10th season. Charity Work Hargite is founder and president of the Joyful Heart Foundation, an organization established in 2004 to provide support to survivors of sexual assault, domestic violence and child abuse. According to Hargite, she was inspired by an encounter with a school of dolphins that surrounded her while she was swimming off the coast of Hawaii. At the age of 15, the encounter which had ignited profound spiritual feelings within her, was one that Hargite hoped to share with others. As of November 2010, the Joyful Heart Foundation has sent over 5,000 women and children on therapeutic programs in New York, Los Angeles and Hawaii which combine yoga, meditation, massage, journaling and swimming with dolphins, Hargite said according to Hargite. The foundation has raised $20 million and helped approximately 5,000 survivors as of April 2011. Reference to the Joyful Heart Foundation was worked into episodes of Special Victims Unit via a necklace containing two pendants representing the foundation that Hargitay's character began wearing in the show's 13th season. Hargitay has worked with Michigan police and Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy, to raise awareness about the statistics of untested rape kits, while planning to produce a documentary called Shelved about the thousands of untested rape kits. Hargitay called this lack of testing the clearest and most shocking demonstration of how we regard these crimes in our country. Hegite appeared in the 17th season of NBC's The More You Know Public Service announcements in 2006 and again in the spring of 2009. She is an honorary board member director of the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation. On September 27, 2011 Hargite donated $100,000 to her alma mater the UCLA School of Theatre Film and television for scholarship. In 2012 Hargite campaigned for the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act. On February 17, 2012, Hargite made a donation of $35,800 to the Obama Victory Fund, the maximum individual contribution allowed by law at the time. Brought to you by Wikivd.com would you like to know more?